Hey guys, I am very excited because today I'm going to see Griffin and Tiesto at the Heatwave Music Festival. My aunt and I are going to see Tiesto and Griffin at the Heatwave Music Festival in Chicago. Today is Sunday, June 11th, and it's a two-day festival. We weren't able to go yesterday, but we are going today, and good thing because Griffin and Tiesto are on the lineup today. They're headlining. I'm really excited to see Griffin and especially Tiesto because I'm a really big fan of him, especially since his album came out this year. We're not going to get there right when it starts. We're going to go towards the end. I'm kind of bummed about the weather. Yesterday for day one, the weather was super nice. It was like 85 but today it's like in the 50s and 60s it's going to be a lot colder it was raining it's windy regardless i'm super excited to go back to chicago and to see tiesto and griffin in my home city i think this is my first festival in chicago too the other ones i had to travel a little bit for the weather was honestly so bad it was very cold and it was drizzling off and on throughout the day before we went to the festival we went and got dinner we ate at the dearborn restaurant the food was really really great and we also got dessert at the Magnolia Bakery and they had amazing banana pudding. But it took forever for us to find parking. All the parking spots were filled up and sold out so we had to drive around looking for parking which took so long. We ended up parking 30 minutes away so we had to walk 30 minutes there and back from the car to the festival. But the views while we were walking there and back were definitely worth it. Like I loved walking through the city and seeing all the views of the lake and the skyline. <laughs>
Since the venue was at the Northerly Island in Chicago, there was an amazing view of the city's skyline. We stopped to take pictures during the day and night and I absolutely loved the view. I loved being able to see the same view like during the day and night because I like all the city lights and everything. I'd actually never been in that part of Chicago before so it was super cool to experience that for the first time. I would love to go back to all of the museums and aquarium and everything. Okay guys, so it is the next day. It's Monday the 12th. Last night was the concert and I I wanted to end off with the vlog and excuse my hair I just realized how crazy it looks on camera I literally like didn't do anything to my hair since last night <laughs> I mean it could have been a lot worse it was raining off and on like a little bit of drizzling like and misting so it wasn't too bad but it was still enough for me to like wear my hood and hat the whole time and I was really cold like I was honestly shivering during the first set that we saw we got there at around six and it started at two so we got there like halfway through and we saw three sets Dioro, Griffin, and Tiesto but my aunt and I had so much fun it was so worth it the concert the sets it was amazing I'm so glad we went this was my very first time seeing Tiesto live and it was my second time I'm seeing Griffin and they both killed it. It was amazing seeing Griffin's live guitar solos. That was so cool but he did have festival mixes and remixes and edits of most of his songs on the album. I wish he played more songs from Drive but he played like three or four of them and most of them were like festival edits anyway. Um, personally I wish he would have played like the original part of it but it doesn't matter. It was still a banger. I still really like the festival mixes. Let me do a quick merch haul for you guys. Usually I like the stuff that has the name of the festival and the lineup on it but they didn't have that many options when we went I think maybe because we went on the second day so a lot of the merch probably sold out the first day and we got there like halfway through the show so there weren't a lot of options basically but I did find something that I do like so I got this shirt it says stay hot heat wave Chicago music festival here's what that looks like I think it looks really cool I don't usually love white t-shirts but I didn't like the other one that they had this was the only one with the lineup so I kind of had to get it and they didn't have it in my size either I needed a small so I had to get a medium so I just decided to get it because I didn't want to leave the concert without any merch you know and the merch line was so long and it took forever but I'm glad I got something and my aunt she got a really cool dead mouse shirt and I can't believe it was called a heatwave music festival and the day that I went it was like 54 degrees even though we got there in the middle of the festival we still got pretty great spots we were like basically in the middle of the pit but throughout the night we kept moving up so we were actually pretty close to Tiesto closer than I thought it was actually a pretty great view the camera does not do it justice it looks different on camera but we were definitely a lot closer than it looked on camera it felt so cool to see them in person in the flesh just to see them in the same space as me I know they're real people but seeing them on a phone versus seeing them in person live is a completely different experience to see them in their zone doing their thing live was amazing let me know if you guys are going to any festivals or concert this summer and let me know if you did already let me know who you saw this year already thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye